So how much do you actually play fucking Minecraft? And how much <laughs> is you just talking shit? Not at all. Yeah, I made two looking for group posts today saying I'm looking for a deputy. And <laughs> nobody responded to it. Trolly McTrollerson. I figured you were full of shit. I was just like, this guy. Yeah, I'll play that shit. I mean, I, I, I don't think I could actually ever get into it. My son plays it a lot, though. He watches, uh, like, fucking dudes that play it on YouTube, and then okay, he'll play coach, it. Thank you. We like, try to find the same games, and he watches. That's cool. I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, I watch some fucking Madden people, and I still suck. <laughs> so, I mean, he watches them for, like, ever, though. Like, so many. Some of them are pretty funny, though. A lot of them are. There are, like, 40-year-old dudes on Roblox, like, role-playing. Oh, my uh, fucking God. This is like... It lacked? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm just playing Mutt too much. Do you play Mutt at all? No. Ooh. That's trippy. Fucking Josh Ross. You see his ankles? <laughs> That's trippy. So you play uh, that rookie all the time now? Who, uh, Josh Ross? Yeah. No, I've had him for like two years, but... I usually, yeah, play a little linebacker spot with him. I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other... What the fuck is going on right now? Uh, my internet is not acting right. Uh, let me do a speed test. But it'll be second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Now a give right side. McFarland. Mm, looks okay. Maybe our just connection is dog shit with each other. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive. Establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. I'm just fucking paranoid about fucking kicking an extra point and shit. Yeah. It's like it's always on kickoffs. And it's just like... You never know. You don't do anything different either. It's just fucking... Lax. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw... He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 13 yards there and a Niner first. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon. And that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. What uh, playbook do you use on offense? Uh, Philly. Cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone. Hey, team six. Team six. On first and ten, Tanner escaping the pressure right, completes it to the tight end Kittle. A gain of six there on first. He was out there waving his arms. Everything feels like it's moving really fucking slow. I don't know. With Mutt, is everything a uh, user versus user? Is it? Yeah. He found the right spot for the completion. Second and four. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? He should have definitely caught that. He definitely should have caught that, though. I don't understand. What I don't get is for tip balls, it's like the defense is very, very good. But then the offense, like... They can't catch a goddamn ball. Yeah, it's very rare that, like... You'll tip it up and then, like, another receiver will come through and, like... Pick it up or whatever. But I don't understand why he didn't catch the ball, period. I mean, yeah. it's not like you hit, I mean, you hit him, but it's not like you hit stick them or anything crazy. Like, mm. it was just a regular play. I don't understand this game. Set, ready? 15, Lonnie. 15, Lonnie. Check tight end. Check tight. Check tight. Two. 
They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Looking to throw on second down. Gruber, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They run on first down with Jackson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards is the pickup, good for an eagle first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep your whole fucking like that, defensive like line just straight stars. Because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Really? Try to put a move on him, but. Ugh. Bring on 21. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Second and nine now. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So you've literally never played Mutt? Or... No. Yeah, I think, I think that's probably part of the reason this is fucking me up right now is because I do play Mutt, and the guys are just so much faster. Really? I wonder why that is. After an incomplete pass right on right second... Uh, down, it's abilities, I know. Right. On third and nine. Get it! From the gun, Gruber. Nowhere to escape, um, and he goes down. It's the abilities. You mean like it's hard to the explain. actual characters or like the gameplay? Um, both. Uh, so on now is both. The man, Bradley Pinion to pump this like the away. players themselves are it's all fast as shit. Because you can upgrade them lines. through the time. No return here. Where yeah. Will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. How many different franchises are you in? Shit, just listen. Because I saw one thing that said you were playing franchise, and I was like, what the fuck? I mean, like, I have one that's, like, just me playing computers, but there's a lot of, like, other users and stuff. And what level do you play on that one? Uh, all matter. Find your playmakers and give them the football. And he'll be taken down as that will take us yeah, to the right end here. of the first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Here we go. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Looking to throw. Tanner. And that will what the fuck? You can tell they were hoping for a flag there. <sighs> It was wide ass open. I don't know what yeah. the fuck. What did you see? Yeah, I think you got to let them play, and the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Another laggy fucking down. kick. Forces fourth down, and this one will be down by a member of the kicking team at about right, the forty right, yard line. Right. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off well, of. That's no, what come on. For here. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. On second down, this is Jackson. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 
A gain of five, we good go. enough Here we for go. the first down. Here we go. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Come off the ball. Come on. Two. On first down. Okay, Bosa, what the fuck? Did you see this shit? Yeah. This game is goddamn broken. Like six feet apart. They're fucking abiding the COVID, I think. Yeah. Because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Get the ball. He's crashing. Any weapon. On second down, ah, Dobbins. On, and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second and five. Uh, the floater there is incomplete. Right, fuck him back. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense. Next time we should play, uh, let me be host, maybe. <laughs> I think the converse has been I'm wondering. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. A lot of time to change things. That one complete. He finds Shark. Because, yeah, something's not accurate about down. our his connection here. His first catch in this go, NFC go, Championship go, game, go, and it's a first down. Right, hey, ball, They'll run on first down. It's Jackson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Operating from the gun. Gruber in a heavy traffic. Let's go, Saxton. Picked off inside the five. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On second down, a run with Breida. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Brings up third and four. Ready, ready. Eight, three. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC championship. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual as we start to look ahead, Charles, to our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep. This fucking game, bro. I'm lagging so bad. Greedy Williams picks it off. If you're a lover of offense, this has not been the half for you thus far. Luckily for me, though, I'm sitting next to a lover of defense, and we have had plenty of that, including that interception. Yeah, and I mean, that still makes it a great game, doesn't it? Everybody talks about if the ball's not in the end zone and points going up on the board, it's not as much fun. I love these defensive battles. Something's got to give with these turnovers. Who can convert them into points? Man, this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second and 11. 
Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him six on the play, and they're going to have a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Nick Bosa able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does. But we Are you streaming? Credit where it's due, and that's no. Defense, I'm not streaming either. I'm just trying to think of another reason I might be lagging. Right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. You're down three under a minute to go. How aggressive are you going to be in this spot? Not as aggressive as I probably would want to be. Only down three. I mean, it might as well be even going into the half. That's not a deficit that makes me want to push it and potentially make a mistake in this situation and cost myself even more points. But boy, getting in a field goal range and tying it, that's tempting. Awfully enticing. You almost talked me into it. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. And this time, they'll just keep this on the ground. And an alley to run. Mm. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. Touchdown, <laughs> So much fucking speed. Matt Breida, 69 yards. And the 49ers have now taken.